Hello, my name is Rafiq Jawani, and today I'll be demoing uh, how to create a report design uh, that uses uh, custom work, I work item fields. So, for the purpose of this demo, I'll be using the uh, line item work item type, which has um, a theme custom attribute, which is like a, a custom enumeration. Uh, so, let's create um, a report that shows um, the number of plan items categorized by theme. Let's create the data source. Let's choose the Jazz data source. Let's choose the work item snapshot. Let's choose some project area. Let's create a data set. Plan items by theme. Let's choose the uh, live work item table as parameters. This data set will take uh, the project area, team area, and the string key. The string key will be uh, the themes custom attribute ID. As uh, output, we will get the, uh, the count of work items categorized by string val. Finish. Let's edit the parameters of the data set. So the project area should be the current project area. The string key should be the custom enumeration field called uh, themes. Let's do a preview of this data set. So as we see, the uh, theme names are not human readable because these are the enumeration literal IDs. So now we need to fix this. And you can see like the count for each theme. Now we need to map the literal IDs to literal names, which are basically human readable. So to do that, we're going to create a data set. that uses the enumerations table. As input, we will give uh, the project area and the enumeration ID. And the data set will give us basically a list of literal IDs and literal names. Let's call the data set themes. The data set takes as a uh, parameter the current project area. So we need uh, another data set that's going to give us the current project area. Let's use the common snapshot to fetch the current project area. So let's create a new data source. Let's adjust data source. Let's call it common. And let's create a data set out of that. Let's call it uh, project areas. Let's make it a parameter data set to uh, remove any duplicates in the result. Let's use the project area table. So that's it. Now let's edit it. Let's set the uh, parameter project area to the current project area.
and let's preview okay so the current project area is rational team concert and that's the item id of that project area now we need to store the current project area in some javascript variable so to do that we click the data set script and we say on fetch um, Project area is equal to row index project area item ID. Now let's pass the variable that we computed to the themes data set. So we we'll go to parameters and we bind the product area parameter to the variable project area now let's create some dynamic text boxes to uh, that will allow us to fetch these two data sets so one first text box Calling total count will cause uh, the full data set to be fetched. Let's bind the project areas uh, data set to this text box and hide the text box. Great. Let's do the same thing for the other data set. So we insert a dynamic text. But count and let's make it hidden and let's bind it to the themes data set. We're done. Now let's try to preview the themes data set. So one way to do that is to drag the table here and do a preview. Okay, so we get a lot of enumeration letters, more than we need. To fix that, let's, let's restrict the themes uh, data set to the uh, proper enumeration, to the themes enumeration. So let's do edit. Let's go to the parameters uh, tab. And this is the, um, the identifier of the uh, themes enumeration. Now let's do preview again. Hmm, I don't see any value, so I probably mistyped the ID of the enumeration. Okay, so this is the ID of the enumeration. Let's preview it. Good. So now we have like a mapping that maps literal IDs to literal names. Let's put that mapping in a JavaScript uh, object so we can easily access it later on.